One of the first forms of money was salt. In fact, Roman soldiers were paid in salt or sal, which is where we get our word salary. Its source was well known, and the technology for extracting it created a supply at a relatively constant rate. Salt has several other characteristics that are necessary for money. It's portable, so it can be easily carried. It's divisible, so if you buy something, you can get change. But salt, as most people will probably agree, is not the ideal form of money, as it dissolves. Gold is better. Unfortunately, it's heavy, especially if you are rich. But there is a clever way around this. Instead of carrying heavy bags of gold around with you, you could give them to a goldsmith who gives you an IOU. You won't physically have the gold, but you'll know that the goldsmith is storing it for you. The goldsmith, without perhaps knowing it, has transformed himself into a bank and inadvertently created the beginning of our financial economy. And that was money in a nutshell. Find out more in my new book, What a Wonderful World, which is about everything from finance to thermodynamics, sex to special relativity, human evolution to holography.